Look for the technology, leaders in the industry singing different tunes. Jansen Wong, as Kate was just mentioning, saying earlier this month that the tech was still 20 years away from practical use. Microsoft calling 2025, quote, the year to become quantum ready. Quantitative AI company Sandbox AQ has been at the forefront of the technology and is already implementing its quantum tech in fields like healthcare and the military. Joining us now, Sandbox AQ CEO Jack Hittery. Sandbox AQ was most recently valued at $5.6 billion after a $300 million fundraise. And Jack, great to have you on here. Uh, just let's start out with what specifically you are you are doing and essentially uh, commercializing here with this technology. Well, it's great to see the interest in quantum. Of course, Q, we anticipated years ago when we started that both AI and quantum would be the twin engines of compute that would transform our world. The A in AQ is for AI, the Q for quantum. It's in our name. And uh, it's great to see the interest, obviously, in the AI side, but also now the quantum side. Uh, there's about two dozen companies out there making the quantum hardware. At Sandbox AQ, we focus on the algorithms, the software that runs on both GPUs, such as NVIDIA, and the QPUs, the quantum processing units that Kate was just talking about in her piece just now. And so we're seeing about two dozen companies out there, the big companies like Alphabet, Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft building out quantum computers, but also these wonderful startups, Cy Quantum, Jeremy and Pete doing a great job where Kate was just visiting over there. And then you have some of the public companies like IonQ also expect Quantinuum to come public in the next six to 12 months. This is a merger of Honeywell's quantum computer with Cambridge Quantum, now called Quantinuum, filing soon to go public and I'm sure will go public in the next six to 12 months. So we're seeing about two dozen companies. They each have different ways of building quantum computers. One thing to take away for the C-suiters watching this right now, if you're an executive, uh, per the Microsoft and other admonitions, it's time to switch your encryption right now. Quantum computers, Mike, they destroy the encryption that we all use to keep commerce going, to keep our banking infrastructure going, telco, the grid, government secrets, all that will be hit hard and destroyed by scaled quantum computers. But guess what? You can't wait till those quantum computers come. You have to start now. It takes about five to 10 years to switch out your protocols. NIST of the Department of Commerce of the US came out with the new quantum safe protocols. It's time to move there right now. And banks uh, are doing that. And governments are starting to do that. But I just want to call the alarm right here we're not seeing it happen fast enough, given the pace of advancement of quantum computers right now. Yeah, I mean, look, it, I love how you just said we'll probably go public in six to 12 months. Too bad you're not right now. Your stock would be going crazy on these. On these. Not me, Quantinuum, Quantinuum going public, not us, yes. Yeah, but, th but then you said we'll probably at some point. No, 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 right? say we will, they will, they will go they public. They will, they will, okay. Public. What about you? Yes, because yes. I think that, I think you've <laughs> sort of been on the forefront of this. Um, we're very happy being private right now. Okay. Uh, we are around, uh, we're, we have great supporters in T. Rowe Price and, and now Alger Asset Management, many others. So great supporters in our investor base. We're happy being private right now. But I was just pointed to Quantinium as an example of the hunger and the demand on the public side for these kinds of stocks out there. Br Jim Breyer, we're seeing on screen, Breyer Capital, another yep. great supporter with USIT, InQtel, Hillspire, S32, and others. And so we're seeing tremendous investor demand and interest in the space. But um, Sarah, what's gonna happen with quantum, people will realize that it's the quantitative side of compute that's gonna rise up 25, 26, 27. The last two years, 23, 24, were really about language AI. Huge obsession, huge focus on large language models, ChatGPT. Everyone should be using those to reduce their customer service costs. They should reduce their marketing costs, targeting uh, customers with better LLMs. That's all table stakes now. That's baked in. The big rise, both with quantitative AI, LQMs, as well as quantum computers eventually, and so it's GPU, QPU in hybridized clouds. That's what we're gonna see from the hyperscalers. You're gonna see that from AWS, Azure, GCP, and others. You'll see this combination. We don't do GPUs instead of quantum or quantum instead of GPUs. They'll be working together on quantitative problems. You just mm -hmm. had on screen the drug discovery 
uh, the energy, the batteries, all these areas. But let me again come back to encryption. Really important that people focus on bolstering the uh, confidentiality, the encryption they keep their trade secrets with, and the critical national infrastructure. We have a new administration coming in, and we're, we're encouraging folks to focus on critical national infrastructure in Europe uh, and in the U.S. We're about to go to Davos. It seems, and it seems Jack, I, I would understand the focus on encryption and readiness uh, and getting your systems prepared because that's something you can sell whether you know if this is going to be a threat or not, <laughs> right? I mean, just in case, you better be ready. Yeah, first of all, it's good hygiene anyway. To be inventorying your encryption is good hygiene anyway. There's a lot of hashing algorithms. These algorithms we use to protect our password files, they're old, they're broken. SHA-1 is an example of that. You need to root that out of your systems anyway. So to your point, it's good hygiene right now. All right, uh, Jack, we'll see uh, if uh, a lot of companies take up that advice. Appreciate it, Jack Hittery. Thank you. Great to see everyone.